Raiders packed downtown Minneapolis as the jury in the George Floyd murder trial deliberates. The prosecution and defense presented their closing arguments yesterday. The judge then handed the case to the jury, telling the jurors the case is important and deserves their careful consideration. Former police officer Derek Chauvin is charged with second and third degree murder, as well as second degree manslaughter. State prosecutors argue that Derek Chauvin's actions on May 25th of last year led to George Floyd's death. They say the ex-police officer, quote, had to know that Floyd was dying as he pressed his knee into his neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds during that arrest, while Floyd repeatedly said he could not breathe. They told the jury Chauvin betrayed his badge with excessive use of force. There's nothing worse for good police than a bad police who doesn't follow the rules. You can believe your eyes. This wasn't policing. This was murder. Now, the defense argued Chauvin rather acted as a reasonable officer would have that day. They say a mixture of heart disease, drugs, and an aggravated crowd led to his death. And the state failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Chauvin was responsible. There is absolutely no evidence that Officer Chauvin intentionally, purposefully applied un unlawful force. If they are missing any one single element, any one single element, it is a not guilty verdict. There is no timeline on how long the jury could take to reach a decision. Once they have reached a verdict, though, it's up to the judge on when to announce it.